<laughs> hey y'all, this is Heath, Psycon Excavate Utilities, Dylan, Cecil. Um, we're the estimating department over at Psycon and uh, getting some requests to do some stuff that's a little bit pre-engineering. So we wanted to kind of show you guys what our process is for capturing data out in the field, bringing it back into the office doing takeoffs and creating a design for the job. I've already got the job created. Uh, we use Topcon, and so this is the uh, this is our data collector over here. And so I brought it up on the big screen so that you guys can see pretty well what we're doing. Um, so to get started, basically we're gonna go out into the field and use a projection and we're gonna go drive some nails and we're gonna create our own GCPs. So we just basically go in here to data and then we're gonna to go to control and then options. And so you're gonna select known projection. I've actually already gone in here and done this, but you're gonna, so there won't be anything initially. So I'm gonna go here, select known projection. I'm gonna go hit my projection and we're in Arkansas. So I chose uh, SPC 83. Um, that's, it's a little different for wherever you are, but Arkansas North, we're in Northwest Arkansas. I believe this is the right projection for that. Um, so, so anyways, I'm gonna hit okay on that. So that's gonna, that's gonna tell, because I don't have any control points out on the job. So we're gonna go create our own GCPs. The next process is we're gonna to go to survey. So when we shoot those GCPs, we're gonna to go to, uh, we need to set it so that it takes a little bit longer shot. So I'm gonna go over to my survey tab, measure points, options. And so we're shooting control points. So we're gonna select that tab and we set our duration to 60 seconds. And it's just gonna sit out there and collect a little more data than what it normally would if you were just taking a normal shot. Does what you can you can set it for like three minutes. Is that what some people what's it? Some people doing it for multiple minutes. Yeah. Just kinda of set it, walk away, let it You can you can do it for a while. I gotcha. So the projects that we're working on, we're getting requests to work on. This will be sufficient for what they're after. Um, so basically we're gonna do that. And then we're going to go set up our base pole on a permanent location. We'll probably leave it there just so that when we go back to the job, we can run off of that same base point. So we're going to go out to the job here in just a minute. And we're going to get our uh, control points shot in. And then we're going to come back and we're going to localize to those control points. Time for a little field trip. So we got, we got called out by the... Avoca Fire Department, which they have like the best chief that, of all the chiefs. <laughs> if you ain't Avoca Shout Fire Chief boy. Chief and you ain't really chiefing. So <laughs> they're needing to make some changes to their parking area. Um, the way the trucks are turning in there right now is just really chewing up the tires. So we're gonna go out there and see if we can help them out. Yep. They got some drainage issues around the back. So we're gonna also see if we can help them there. Basically, it just needs a, they're needing a bigger space for their, or a better spot for their fire trucks to be able to pull in and kind of manipulate. Yeah, three wide, no seat belts, baby. That's how God intended it. That's right. We've got the wing windows over yeah, here, man. Yeah, dude, give me Forge, a little. need to bring them back. Give me a little drive, my boy. Kind of got Cameraman, that. give me a little drive. Dude. There you go, there he is. You gotta be born in the 90s to know how to manipulate that. Pick you a good base pole location where you're not having a lot of uh, tree coverage and stuff. We got us a 5 8 11 all thread. Same as the threads on the underside of the base. We're gonna get this dude set up. So we're gonna go set some GCPs. I'm um, just using these mag nails. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna get four of these and we're gonna surround the whole job site. And we're probably gonna get a little bit beyond that just in case the job site extends to a little bit bigger area because we're gonna come back and use these later. Doing 
Shout out to Jesus. He got our batteries charged up last night. All you slackers out there that don't charge your stuff and you show up to the job site and it's half charged, you need to tighten up. <laughs> tighten it up a little bit. So we're set up over our first GCP and we're gonna name this uh, just CP1. Technically, I guess by definition, these aren't control points, but hey, we're, we're gonna run with it. So now we're measuring. Uh, we got 21 satellites we're using. That's up from what we were at. Shout out to Alan Peck and Dalton from Power Equipment. They hooked us up with some updates yesterday. We're measuring these for 60 seconds. Hoping to get some pretty good data. Trying to get that thing right there, dude. Just, because we want to know exactly where that is. Exactly. Number two. Beautifully done, beautifully done. That's how a real surveyor does it right there. Here we are, we're set up over control point number two. So we're gonna measure this. Super important thing in this is the hamburger button. Never forget the hamburger button. Survey, measure point. Measure point. GCP, right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He would already have poison ivy. Dalton, if you're watching this, bro, I ain't getting no ticks. <laughs> Set 21 satellites, dude. That's almost what? double what we were running. Dude, the coolest, one of the coolest moments in my Psycon history. We're in there talking about flying drones and stuff. This is b before I ever even worked here. And I don't remember exactly what you said, but it was like, it was like, uh, what they tell you or what they want you to believe about space. And I was like, he was sitting there, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. Yeah. yeah. And that was when I knew, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> got a believer on our hands. It's like, yeah. A believer of truth. That guy's got a 3D mindset. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're set up over CP4 here and we're going to now do the localization. So, I'm going to go in and I'm going to change my base station from the projection in AD83 to like a local base station. So basically we're going to switch back from our projection setting. We're going back to uh, GPS localize as opposed to known projections, which is where we were. So we're going to go into data, control points. We're going to select which one we're on, which is number four. And we're going to edit that with GPS. Measure it. I didn't change that back from 60 seconds, so we're going to be here a minute. Uh, Literally a minute. Back the way we came. Localization commenced. It's like you're on a chair, you know? A chair has four legs, and so the world is the floor. I don't know. What he's trying to say is that a four-legged stool is much more sturdy and reusable in a three-legged stool even better think if you had a six-legged stool think how sturdy that would be dude when i was in like sixth grade this is this was the popular way to wear your hat no no <laughs> just the boys it's just huh? what we did you know <laughs> kind of had that brim, brim pull down there you might have a uh, khakis on with a cuff in the crease and some some kind of nikes so we got all four of our GCPs shot in and it's showing it's a pretty decent little old localization but if for some reason one of those is out of tolerance you can go in here and hit edit GPS just like you were localizing and you can turn the horizontal or the vertical off so what that's going to do is that's going to throw that that bad shot out of the equation and it will it will bring everything back in within tolerance you can do that to one or two of them a little bit here and there we don't have to because we all checked out good so from here we're going to go take uh, we're going to do our topo shots basically the idea is think of it like you're painting over a canvas um, and this thing is your brush 
you want to capture every feature that's important. Basically, we're going to take shots of everything that we care about. We care about if there's any existing utilities, um, where the road is, the corners of the parking lot. We're going to get all that. We're going to get every contour of the land. So we're going to go through and take some topo shots of all that. That way, when we get back into the office, we'll know exactly where everything is. And we can actually lay this over Google Earth in a different file type so we can double check everything that we got. That's what we just shot in the field right there. This is how it looks on the data collector. Got it on the thumb drive now. Time to throw it in magnet. Boom, that's how it comes in looking like. Kind of similar, but the thing that's cool is that so you see these triangles I was talking about? It, draw, it draws these triangles, but also a cool thing that this does is it actually gives you, I can turn that mesh off it gives me contour lines of what that area is like so that's pretty cool and then just all your elevations right here is the 1259 24 kind of lists out the elevations I'm looking at and then what you do is you go here surface viewer boom Kinda what it looks like out there, huh? <laughs>